All right, so let me just give y'all some direct. This is facts. It's not, it's, there's no question, there's no debate. Rather, you're doing root work. So, hoodoo, white magic, black magic. I don't care if you're, you know, in a Wicca, you know, witchcraft. I don't care who it is, who you follow, where you got it from. It's all control based. There is no faith in God when you come to those realms of trying to, like, all right, so look, it ain't nothing wrong with spitting mantras, right? Because this is psychology. You program your subconscious. Your subconscious, in part, forms your reality. So talking to yourself, having healthy mantras, you know, I am wealthy. I am rich in spirit. I am healthy. I am loved. I am love. I am light, right? Like, I am all of these things. I am balance. I am the darkness. When you start spitting these mantras, there's nothing necessarily wrong with you spitting a mantra, okay? It's when you start using these mantras to actually take the wheel you know that quote when they say jesus take the wheel bro magic takes the wheel so it eliminates faith which eliminates god doesn't mean that god stopped existing no god still exists but yo you're not allowing the things that are for you to be for you right you're stepping outside of that and you're compelling the universe through external means to bend to your will and therefore, the things that might not be met for you, you can now have. That is power. And I can see how that's a turn on. I can see why people would resort to that. But I also see the reason. The reason people resort to it truly is because they have no faith. Not They don't have a real strong faith in, in connection to God. Because if you did, you wouldn't feel compelled to use magic. Let me clear something up for you. Rituals and magic is real. But it requires more than just chance, right? This is why people do use incense, different color candles, uh, the blood of a chicken, rabbit's foot, uh, you know, any of these things, bro. Pentagrams, any of this stuff, bro, because it, it works. It, it absolutely works, but it's it's like a company. Magic is like a company, bro. It's, it's, it's more than one wheel keeping this engine going. It's more than one person keeping this company running. So it takes more than just candles. It takes more than just chance. It's also a repetition. So in order for magic to really work, and I'm gonna give y'all some jewels. In order for magic to really work, it is uh, it's routine. It's like a routine like anything else, bro. And then one day you wake up and then boom, something fell into alignment in accordance to your will, not God's, and you get the outcome you desire if you did everything the right way. So. It, again, it eliminates God from the equation and it, it compels you to become God. That is evil. I don't care if you're practicing good magic or not. Here's another thing. Not a lot of people. See. Nine times out of ten, nine, nine times out of ten, most people who dabble with magic end up getting tricked by some type of trickster spirit, some evil, some demon. I don't care what your intentions was. You know what I'm saying? If you if you use it to try to heal somebody magically. At some point, you lost your way, you don't realize it, and the demon is tricking you and it is entertaining, right? So when you entertain spirits and when the demon entertains you, when you entertain, you have to first enter. What realm are you entering? And when the demon entertains you, it has to enter your realm. It has to enter you, bro. Be careful with spirits you entertain, bro. Because it's very easy to be blinded and rocked to sleep. Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? You got funny vibes. You feeling like something under your bed. You having demonic nightmares. All type of crazy stuff. Your relationship, job. You get, you know, stricken with some type of health problem. You get faced with a situation where you might have to be at a conflict with your moral compass. And now you're doing even more evil deeds because of the circumstance and situation that has arisen from your magical practices you don't want to do it to yourself i promise you i promise you um you know magic is like water right in in terms of good magic it's like water the problem is too much water can kill you literally the same thing with good magic you, you if you entertain this long enough you have to know there is no limitation to what spirit can actually enter. You can do all the protection and all that stuff you want. None of that actually matters. 
it, it because ultimately you're playing a game that you don't fully understand and you don't have full control of. How do I know that? I know you don't have full control because you resorted to magic for more power. You understand? You resorted to hoodoo for more power. Yes, these spirits might compel reality to bend to your nature, but you do not compel spirits. Most people, you're never going to be able to really control the spirit. The only way you can really do that is through God, bro. God is the only way you can control spirits. Which brings me to my next point. Stop using sage and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? I used to do it. Burn sage in the house, clear spirits, salt under the uh, the, the, the welcome mat outside of the house, salt under the, the mat in, inside of the house, right? Keep certain spirits, keep other people's spirits out. You know what I'm saying? Do certain chants. And then when a person get in your crib, you wonder why they want to leave within five minutes of them getting here. It's because I didn't put some root work, you know what I'm saying, in my house. And now you're feeling uncomfortable and you don't even know why. You just know you need to get the fuck out of here. Magic. Now, none of that shit matters. Because ultimately, you can't... Here's the thing. You defeat one demon, the Bible is straight up tell you like this. When you defeat one demon and you clean your house, that demon come back with seven more stronger. So ultimately, even if you can use sage and candles and, and, and chanting to get rid of a spirit, and you could you're not going to be all you're doing is letting the spiritual realm know that you're high you're, you're ready for a higher level of uh antagonization you're ready for a higher level of demon because you didn't show that you got power to push this one away the test never gonna stop the test never gonna stop so you might as well get right with god that's what i'm telling you god is the only way that you can control spirits and negative energy bro these other like and i mean completely these other means that y'all go about doing it does work it is not the way it is not the highest path nor is it the highest source of power you can actually get power from god but you have to be close to god bro you don't have to get power from the spiritual realm god is all of this bro so it only really makes sense to work for god because ultimately what's going to happen to you root workers, you voodoo muff, was ultimately you, you end up working for spirits, bro. They figure out a way to tether inside of you and get you to do things, bro. And then even if it don't, you're going to have to compromise. At some point, there's give and take, take and give. There's a balance to this shit. Basically, it's, that's what I'm telling There's a balance. So at some point, they're going to add something to you that is uh, representative of something sacrificial. Something of the flesh, something of the blood, something evil, bro. That ain't God. So y'all need to be aware of that. I really wanted to drop that nugget on y'all. Um, you know, listen, don't listen. I'm not here to save people. I don't even believe in that. My, I, I, it's completely stupid for me to do anything that I do outside of love for God and just loving what I do. Because trying to actually help people, people help. Y'all can help yourselves. You know what I'm saying? You go seek the knowledge. You pay attention to your life experiences you can help yourself none of us are here to really like yeah we're supposed to help each other and love each other but as far as me actually thinking that these videos is going to change somebody's life or, or change the course of some of their decisions that would be my ego completely because in humility i have to admit the only way that takes place is through god so it's me working through god and god working through you you having your eyes open to what's being said and then actually applying it. I have no power over it. So I don't make these videos to actually help people. I make them because I love, you know, speaking my perspective, my life, actual life experiences, uh, wisdom on some on some cases. Um, speaking on my stupidity, how I've been a fool, how I've been tricked, how I've been played. I love putting out perspective. That's why I do this. I love working for God. That's why I do this. But it's not, I wish I could say, you know, I do this to help people. Yeah, in my heart, that's my intent. But I have to actually articulate on camera that I don't have that actual power. You do. No matter what a man or woman gives you, tells you, or shows you, only you got the power to actually implement it, apply it, and create that change. So take, take everything I say with a grain of salt. If you don't have the experience or the knowledge, you know, I'm not telling you to believe what I'm saying. All I'm saying is 
take a look around. Magic is definitely real. They wouldn't have these type of narratives, you know what I'm saying, since the beginning of time, if there wasn't some truth to it. You see what I'm saying? You gotta really look at these things, bro. Um, and I just really wanna, you know, bring that to your attention. You know, um, magic is a frequency, a vibration. It uh, is spiritual, bro. It um, <clears throat> magic is uh, technology as well. You know these black mirrors. They used to use uh, black obsidian, uh, stone. Uh, these stones back in the day. You know uh, black mirrors to uh, not just for their reflection, but for demonic practices. You know what I'm saying? As well as light practices. But at the end of the day, the way that technology is being used, these black mirrors, your phone, your TV, your laptop. It's used to brainwash and control you. So this this is a form of a magical device that has the power to actually change your brain. It's not just affecting your perception. You watch something and embrace something long enough and live in like like live with that in you, it changes your chemical makeup, bro. Some of this thing can actually shape your brain. Music can shape your brain. Learning a new activity, learning something new, learning whatever they give you shapes your brain. Your brain is elastic, bro. It changes shape, bro. So like this is magic, bro. You mean to tell me you can put a frequency out there, an image, a narrative, and through repetition, you can program my subconscious, which convinces me to consciously act a certain way, which controls my reality? Come on, bro. This is common sense. You're blind. You're blind, bro. And we all know that vibration, right, affects matter. They've done these tests with sand, with water. They hit it with a vibration, hit a spiral. They hit it with another vibration, it'll scatter. You know what I'm saying? Frequency affects matter. What type of frequency are they channeling through these devices? And how deeply does it actually affect you? That's the only question you gotta ask yourself. Cause it's not a matter of, does it affect you? It affects you. You need the question, how deep does that power go? And I'm here to tell you directly, it goes deep. Deeper than what you, listen, the truth is stranger than fiction. Y'all didn't heard that. Y'all done all heard the truth is stranger to fiction. Why do you think that is? It's because literally there's some truth to a lot of this weird stuff like magic, like God, like the devil. There's truth to this, bro. Spirits, there's truth. Voodoo, there's truth. All you got to do is really question how deep that truth goes. But let me tell you something. Once y'all start to figure out that there's truth to magic and there's a higher agenda on earth, like when you really see this and you really know it, It'll change how you move through life. That Why y'all think I do this? <laughs> Come on, man. Anyway. <clears throat> I love y'all. And uh, I just want peace. I'm not here to wake nobody up. That's your choice. You want to stay asleep? That's on you. I just, I really wish with like so much desire, with a burning, yearning desire, that people can wake up to the world's evil and this trick that's being played on us so that we can create effective change on this planet. Till then, I'm gonna keep posting, I'm out.